Hi everybody, welcome back once again. Uh, it's the new edition of Counting Principle. Quite really excited for the lesson. And today we're going to be doing the permutation rule. Quite an exciting uh, uh, section. Okay, let's just start our lesson with this conceptualization problem, right? For the rule, permutation rule, right? Uh, let's just start with this example. Uh, let's say I have a shelf that contains nine books in total, but I want to determine how many different ways can I arrange three of the books. I have nine books in total. I want to determine how many ways can I arrange three books, right? We can just use the counting principle that we learned, right? To say, okay, if I want to determine how many ways I can arrange three books, I can just create three spaces, right? Then I ask myself, in this space, how many choices do I have? I have a total of nine books. So obviously I can choose any of the nine. So I have nine choices. Only one book is gonna sit in that position. When I come to this space, how many books can I choose from? I'll be left with what? Eight books to choose from. Two books have now seated. How many books can I choose from in that space? Okay, two books are gone from nine. I'll be left with what? With seven. Then I just simply multiply those to get the total number of ways in which I can arrange these three books. Okay. Sometimes it might not be easier to do this, right? We can use what we call the what? The permutation rule. Okay. If I want to arrange a set of R things from a set of N things, there's a formula I can use rather than me going and doing it manually like this using counting. We can just simply use the formula for permutation. Okay, what does the formula say? So the formula for permutation says that if I have a total of n items and I want to determine how many ways can I select and arrange only r items, right, from n, then the number of ways to do that is simply n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Okay, when n stand, stand for the total number of items that are there and r stand for those that we choose, those that we select and arrange. Okay, so I just want to arrange three books from how many? From nine. So this can be done in what? In nine factorial, that is the total number of books that are there divided by 9 minus 3 factorial because I only need to arrange 3 of them. Okay, so you'll see this will still give us the same answer of 504. Okay, so you can see that using a formula is quite easy and fast because you just put it in the formula and you get the answer, right? Um, oh, you can still, it does not separate the normal counting that we've been doing of thinking about the number of choices. It's just that sometimes what if I have 60 items? right and i want to determine how many ways can i arrange only uh five items or maybe let's say only um 20 items okay let's say i have um 60 items i want to determine how can i arrange only uh 20 items from the 60. can you see i can't go and create 20 space it's gonna take me a lot of time can you see we can simply use the permutation rule if i have a total of 60 items i want to select and arrange only 20 of them it means i can do it in what 60 factorial over 60 minus 20 factorial all right let's just quickly go to the problem that i want us to really focus on for this lesson Right, let's look at this quite um, challenging example. Um, a bus has 16 seats. 10 passengers are to get on the bus. How many possible seating arrangements are there for the 10 passengers? If the back row has five seats and only a specific group of people may sit at the back row in any order. Okay, so what we know here is that we have a bus that has 16 seats right and we have 10 people that are to be seated in that bus and we want to determine how many different arrangements are possible if at the back row there's a specific group of five people that must sit there okay 
So let's let's go and count using counting principle and what we learned today, permutation. All right. So at the back row, it's fine. We don't have to use permutation because we are told that there's already been a selection of a specific group of people right five people that must sit at the back as we just want to know how many different ways can we arrange them okay let's start at the back row there are five people already that are chosen that is a specific group how many different ways can they be seated at the back because we have five different people you have to remember the factorial notation they can be arranged in what in five factorial ways okay so which is about 120 different ways okay okay so that's fine that's at the back right because we already select them we already choose five we just need to know how many ways can we arrange them in five factorial ways okay where we use permutation don't confuse this with permutation with permutation it's like we don't know uh we we haven't already selected but we are just saying maybe the like a previous example we had uh, nine books we want to know how many ways can we just arrange three any three books so we we are not saying a specific uh we are we are not yet selecting three books and we say how many ways can we arrange if we already selected them in uh, and we want to determine the number of ways to arrange them is just three factorial but if i just say i have nine books how many ways can i arrange any three right so any of the three so that you must think of permutation to say oh nine factorial over 9 minus 3 factorial in this case the trickness of this question is that you can be tempted to use permutation at the back but it's not the case because the people are already selected a specific group of five people may sit at the back so we already select them we want to determine the number of arrangement in which you can arrange them at the back that is just simply five factorial okay so that is it but with the remaining uh we don't we we, we 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 didn't select a specific group anyone right how many people are left now if i arrange five at the back i'm left i had 10 passengers then five are arranged at the back i'm left with how many people i'm left with five people right five people because we had 10 in total right but how many seats are left five seats are gone right how many six seats are left i'm left with what 16 minus 5 seats which is what which is like 11 seats left then i want to determine how many now can i arrange the remaining people i have 11 seats i need to know how many ways can i arrange five people now we can think of permutation right because i have 11 seats how many ways can i arrange five people from there so obviously all the people won't take all the seats obviously there will be some seats remaining so we can use permutation in this case to say i have a total of 11 seats but it's i need to arrange only five people in those okay so in this one we can use permutation and we say 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 5 factorial right remember we use permutation if i need to arrange r things from a set of n things okay just like uh, the previous example i had nine books i needed to know how can i arrange three books so i say nine factorial over nine minus three factorial in this case it's quite a tricky question really because uh, at first they didn't want you to use permutation because they are saying a specific group of five people may sit at the back they have already been selected to say these people must sit at the back okay so if i have five people they can be arranging five factorial ways but then the remaining what is the remaining number of people i'm left with five people but how many seats are left 11 seats because i had 16. five are gone at the back six 11 seats are remaining how can i arrange five people in those 11 seats permutation okay so 11 factorial over 11 minus 5 factorial so we can just simply multiply those and finally get the total number of ways in which these people can be arranged so on the calculator i'm getting six six five two eight hundred okay so there are six million six hundred and fifty two and eight hundred 
uh, different arrangements that can be made in this case where we have 16 seats specific group of five people must be seated at the back and um, the remaining will be arranged in those so there are six million six hundred and fifty two eight hundred different arrangements this is quite a lot guys so there's a lot of arrangements that can be made okay um yeah that's it all right everybody here's your interactive activity i want you to try out this you can pause the video and just uh look at this question and just try to answer them drop your answers on the comment box and i'm just gonna respond from there if your answer is correct or not uh the first question says the school need to employ four teachers out of a potential 20 how many ways can this be done and the second one a club need to elect a chairman vice chairman treasurer and secretary from a group of 60 people and how many ways can this be done all right so just try them out drop your answers on the comment box and i'll respond from there okay i hope you find this lesson helpful goodbye